13 strange and unbelievable facts about Uzbekistan home to some of the most beautiful women in Asia. When you set foot in Uzbekistan, you'll almost forget about all the other countries you've visited and you too will be overwhelmed by the splendor of this nation. Despite its vast area of 447,400 km2, ranking 56th in the world by size, Uzbekistan is landlocked. In the heart of Central Asia, wedged between Kazakhstan to the north, Kyrgyzstan to the northeast, Tajikistan to the southeast, and Afghanistan and Turkmenistan to the south. Today, with a population of over 32 million, this country is one of the most developed in Central Asia, boasting rich gold mines, magnificent palaces, and ancient customs that have survived through time. Hence, it's no surprise to call Uzbekistan a uniquely fascinating and extraordinary land. But what surprised me the most were the stunningly beautiful women who seemed to appear everywhere on the streets. Their beauty could captivate anyone, but few know that this allure is linked to an ancient mystery rooted in this land. If you're curious, why not join us in exploring 13 strange and unbelievable facts about Uzbekistan to see just how fascinating and intriguing this country is. Number 13. Extremely safe for tourists. Many visitors to Uzbekistan have complained that the country is so strangely safe that there are no wars, terrorism or coups here. You won't see bullets flying overhead or anyone attacking or threatening your life. The people of Uzbekistan are extremely peace-loving, which is clearly reflected in their lifestyle. Hospitality here is not just a rumor you will experience it from the moment you arrive. While many other countries struggle with complex security issues, Uzbekistan maintains an astonishingly stable environment. Weapons are rarely seen and are not part of everyday life. Indeed, locals don't even have a habit of using guns, even for legitimate purposes. So if you ever thought Uzbekistan might be a dangerous destination, think again. Don't let misconceptions prevent you from exploring a place full of wonderful experiences like Uzbekistan, a place where safety and peace are not just words in books, but a vivid everyday reality. Number 12. Home to the most beautiful women in Asia. It's not by chance that Uzbekistan is called the land blessed by the gods. Every girl born here seems like a divine creation. However, behind this heavenly beauty lies a unique genetic secret found only in Uzbekistan. Uzbek women, representing one of the oldest ethnic groups in Asia, are distinctly different from neighboring countries. From their distinct Asian features to their graceful demeanor, they are a living testament to the perfect blend of history and culture. The hot, dry climate and abundant sunshine here have created healthy, sun-kissed skin and shiny black hair, coupled with deep, mysterious eastern eyes all contributing to an irresistible allure. Interestingly, not all Uzbek women share the same beauty traits. Some are features similar to Europeans like the famous Uzbek singer Diora. This only adds to the diversity and richness of their beauty. And don't think they are just beautiful Uzbek women know how to beautify society as well, as they increasingly become prominent figures in entertainment, film and fashion industries. So if you're still skeptical, try visiting Uzbekistan and see for yourself. You'll find that this country is not only famous for its rich history and culture, but also as a factory producing some of the most beautiful women in Asia. I'm sure your perception of beauty standards will be completely transformed after this trip. Number 11. Strict Regulations Although Uzbekistan is a paradise of safety, don't let that make you overly lax. Uzbekistan is a country that places a high value on preserving local culture. As you prepare to step into Uzbekistan, remember that respecting the culture will not only help you avoid trouble but also make you a welcomed guest in the eyes of the locals. Firstly, Uzbekistan is an Islamic country, so be cautious with your habits regarding smoking and alcohol consumption. If you're under 20 and want to try a local drink or even just buy a pack of cigarettes, you'll need to wait a few more years. This is a government regulation aimed at protecting public health and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Also, when you are near government buildings or sensitive areas, please do not take out your camera without permission. Don't let your trip be cut short because of a poorly placed selfie. In fact, if you're not careful, you might find yourself escorted to the airport to return home rather than getting that Instagram shot. Finally, for the gentlemen, when greeting women in Uzbekistan, don't extend your hand for a handshake as you might do back home. Instead, place your hand on your left chest and bow slightly. This is not only a polite gesture, but also shows deep respect for their customs. In summary, Uzbekistan welcomes you with hospitality but also expects you to respect their rules. Remember, adhering to these regulations not only ensures a safe trip but also earns you respect from the local people. 
Keep this spirit in mind as we move on to the most unique aspect of this country. Number 10. A land where wealthy men have multiple wives. Yes, you heard it right. In Uzbekistan, a country with an Islamic culture and long-standing traditions, having multiple wives is not unusual. Especially for wealthy and high-status men, having multiple wives is seen as a sign of success and power. Although the country's laws prohibit polygamy, it seems that this regulation is merely for decoration. Uzbek men consider anyone with only one wife as poor. According to tradition, Islam allows men to have up to four wives, provided they can adequately support all their wives financially and emotionally. This means that the wealthier a man is, the better he can provide for multiple wives and thus, having multiple wives becomes a symbol of prosperity. Wealthy and prominent men often seek additional wives to bolster their social status. For them, if they have money, why not enjoy a bit of diversification in marital life? So while some people accumulate supercars or mansions, men in Uzbekistan accumulate wives. Many Uzbek women also accept marriages with men who already have a wife, mainly for economic reasons or social pressure. For many, accepting a shared husband is a way to ensure stability and safety for themselves and their families. However, this doesn't mean all Uzbek men have multiple wives. In fact, in urban areas and among the middle class, this concept is no longer as common as it once was. Many Uzbek people now have only one wife and live in traditional family structures similar to other parts of the world. Number 9. Not everyone wears traditional clothing. We all know that Uzbekistan is an Islamic country in Central Asia, so many might think that it is very conservative and strict about clothing. However, the reality might surprise you. When thinking of an Islamic country, many imagine traditional clothing with long pants, long-sleeved shirts and women covering their heads completely. But if you get the chance to visit Uzbekistan, especially in the summer, you will see a completely different picture. People here are actually quite relaxed and comfortable in their everyday attire, suited to the hot climate of the country. You will easily spot people wearing shorts, loose pants or open shirts while strolling around the streets. This not only shows adaptation to the weather, but also reflects a modern and open lifestyle. Traditional clothing like long dresses and pants still exists, but is often reserved for special occasions or formal events. And speaking of Uzbek women, you will definitely see a variety in their clothing choices. Not everyone wears headscarves or modest clothing. Some women choose traditional attire for religious or personal reasons, but the majority prefer Western clothing such as jeans, shirts, and fashionable international outfits. This shows that Uzbekistan is a country where the harmony between tradition and modernity, between faith and lifestyle, is naturally and comfortably unfolding. So if you're imagining Uzbekistan as a conservative Islamic country with strict clothing regulations, be prepared to be surprised. In reality, Uzbekistan represents an interesting blend of traditional culture and modernity, where people can comfortably express their personal style. Number 8. The cleanest metro system on Earth. You might think of subways as crowded, dusty and not very clean, but Uzbekistan will prove you wrong. Let's step into the metro system in Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan. It may sound ordinary, but believe me, you'll be amazed as soon as you enter the stations here. Tashkent boasts not only peaceful streets and fresh air, but also a metro system so beautiful that you might wonder am I in a train station or a royal palace. The stations are lavishly decorated with Central Asian folk art, from intricate plaster details to luxurious chandeliers and sculptures. You might even come across artistic metal mosaics and other unique features you probably never imagined would be found in a subway station. And it's not just the artistic design, the cleanliness here will truly astonish you. Tashkent's metro stations are considered among the cleanest in the world, and Use Muse has given them this well-deserved accolade. The meticulous attention to cleanliness might make you feel like you've entered a different space where everything is maintained as if it were brand new. Number 7. The Special Traditional Dish Plov The name sounds quite intriguing, doesn't it? But don't worry, Uzbekistan won't scare you with its cuisine like some Indian dishes might. So what is plov? Imagine a rice dish that is more than just rice and a few side dishes, it is a true culinary masterpiece. Plov is a dish where every grain of rice is carefully seasoned, combined with delicious meats like lamb, beef or chicken, along with fresh vegetables and delicate spices. But here's the interesting part, there's not just one plov recipe. In Uzbekistan, there are up to 60 different recipes, each region offering its unique flavor and style. Originating from the 10th century, plov was once a dish reserved for the aristocracy. It was a dish served at grand occasions, symbolizing luxury and nobility. 
Back then, plof was made with rare and elaborate ingredients meant to satisfy important guests. Over time, however, this dish has become popular and is now enjoyed by people across Uzbekistan, from urban to rural areas. When you taste plov, you'll experience a wonderful blend of flavors. Each grain of rice is tender and soaked with spices, paired with rich lamb, sweet carrots and aromatic onions, creating an unforgettable culinary experience. Plov is not just a dish, but a part of Uzbekistan's culture, showcasing the creativity and skill of its people. So if you get a chance to visit Uzbekistan, make sure to try this special dish. So is there anything else about Uzbekistan that we don't know yet? Let's continue exploring in the next part of this video. Number 6. The World's Melon Sanctuary Yes, you heard that right, Uzbekistan is not only famous for its valuable gold mines, but also for its collection of over 150 types of melons. It might sound unbelievable, but Uzbekistan has a melon-growing tradition that dates to ancient times. And it's not just about the quantity, the quality of the melons here is top-notch. Uzbek melons are grown using sophisticated farming techniques, turning arid desert lands into vast melon fields. It's truly remarkable, since we're talking about a country with mostly desert and dry grasslands, yet they manage to produce melons with exceptional flavors. You can smell the sweet aroma and feel the juiciness of the melons even from just stepping into a local produce market. The history of melon cultivation in Uzbekistan is also fascinating. It has become an integral part of the legendary Silk Road, where merchants from around the world gathered to trade high-quality agricultural products, with melons being among the most popular items. Over the centuries, the techniques for growing melons have been perfected into an art form. Modern irrigation methods are used, involving canal systems and wells to channel water from glaciers to the expansive melon fields amidst the desert. The combination of harsh natural conditions and human skill creates melons with unique flavors found nowhere else. Each type of melon in Uzbekistan has its distinct taste and way of enjoyment. You might find melons that melt sweetly in your mouth with just one bite, or those with such a distinctive aroma that merely smelling them is refreshing. Melons in Uzbekistan are not just food but a part of the culture representing the ingenuity and creativity of its people. So if you're a melon lover, Uzbekistan is definitely a place you must visit. Number 5. The Silk Road if you've ever studied history, you know that the Silk Road was not just a trade route, but a bridge between great civilizations from east to west. What you might not know is that Uzbekistan, a gem of Central Asia, played a crucial role as the heart of the Silk Road, where cultures, religions and ideas met and blended. Let's start our journey in Samarkand, one of the oldest cities in the world with a history spanning over 2,500 years. Samarkand was not only an important political and economic center, but also a gathering place for merchants, scholars and artisans from across the globe. The city is renowned for its magnificent architecture, particularly the Registan complex, a masterpiece of Islamic architecture, with three exquisite madrasas standing tall in the city's heart. Each step on the blue-tiled streets of Registan is a step back into the glorious past of Samarkand, once considered a crossroads of the world. Today, Uzbekistan is not just a destination for adventure travelers, but also a place where we can reflect on and appreciate the monumental historical values brought by the Silk Road. The ancient sites in Uzbekistan are not only remnants of a bygone era, but also evidence of the development and prosperity of the civilizations that once thrived here. Number 4. The Cradle of Algebra Few people know that a subject that once terrified many originated in Uzbekistan. This country has such an ancient history in mathematics that it might surprise you to learn that Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, who laid the foundation for algebra, was from Uzbekistan. But did you know that al-Khwarizmi was not just a mathematician, but also the father of one of the terms that makes many people's heads spin algorithm? Yes, his name was used to create this term, highlighting his significant influence in the field of mathematics. Now, imagine this, you're sitting in a classroom, pencil in hand, trying to solve a tricky algebraic equation. Instead of getting frustrated with the numbers, think of Al-Khwarizmi, who dedicated his life to developing the methods for solving such equations. He was the author of Al-Kitab al-Muqtasar fi Hasab al-Jabbar wal Mukabala, a long name, but an even longer content. This book systematized the methods for solving quadratic equations and basic algebraic rules that we use today. But the journey of Al-Khwarizmi's book is even more fascinating. It was translated into Latin in the 12th century and quickly spread across Europe as a phenomenon. This dissemination helped popularize and develop algebra in the West, contributing to the mathematical revolution we know today. 
In other words, if you're feeling knotted up with your algebra homework, remember that you're using tools invented by al khwarizmi thousands of years ago. Not only did he provide us with essential calculation methods, but al khwarizmi also bridged cultures between civilizations, contributing to a knowledge revolution from the Islamic world to the West. His legacy lives on through generations of scholars and mathematicians, which is truly admirable. So next time you face a tough algebra problem, think of al khwarizmi the man who turned dry numbers into powerful tools, helping us understand the world in a completely new way. Number 3. The most populous country in Central Asia. If you think Central Asia is just a land of dusty deserts and small nations, Uzbekistan will make you reconsider. With a population of around 32 million people, it is the most populous country in the region, and this number truly gives Uzbekistan significant influence in the area. Interestingly, even though Uzbekistan has a large population, most of its people live concentrated in the rural areas of the east and south. There, life is still very tied to agriculture, and you can see people relying on cotton fields, wheat, and other crops. However, this uneven population distribution also presents many challenges for Uzbekistan. One of the biggest challenges is the uneven development between regions. In rural areas, infrastructure and public services are limited, making life difficult for the residents. Imagine living in a place where schools, hospitals or even roads are not adequately developed, it's certainly not easy. But this is where Uzbekistan shows its strong determination. The government has been working hard to improve infrastructure and boost development projects in rural areas. From building new roads and providing clean water to enhancing education and healthcare quality, everything is being pushed forward to ensure no one is left behind. They are truly committed to creating a better future for all their citizens. So, Uzbekistan is not only the most populous country in Central Asia, but also a dynamic and ambitious nation. Number 2. The second largest gold mine in the world. You might be surprised to learn that in a country with a GDP still at a low point like Uzbekistan, there's a literal gold my secret. This country is home to one of the largest gold mines on the planet, the Muruntau mine. This site is located about 400 km west of the capital Tashkent. Imagine a super gold mine right in the middle of a desert, it sounds like something out of mythology. But even more surprising is that the Muruntau mine was discovered in 1958 and has since provided the world with approximately 1,600 tons of gold. Yes, you heard that right, 1,600 tons. Even Gollum from the Lord of the Rings would envy this treasure. And even more interesting, this gold mine is expected to continue operating until 2032. Plenty of time for you to book a flight to Uzbekistan and try your luck or just admire it. Additionally, the company operating the mine is among the top 10 gold and uranium mining corporations in the world. So even though Uzbekistan's GDP may be modest, they have managed to upgrade their position on the global resource map thanks to this gold mine. Number 1. A landlocked country. Yes, you heard that right. Uzbekistan is one of the 45 countries worldwide that is entirely landlocked, meaning it has no direct access to the sea. This means that for the people of Uzbekistan to see the ocean, they would need to cross at least two other countries. But this doesn't make Uzbekistan any less attractive on the contrary. Its unique geographical position contributes to its rich cultural and historical characteristics, making the country uniquely appealing. Uzbekistan is located in the heart of Central Asia, surrounded by other countries like Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Afghanistan and Turkmenistan. An interesting fact is that not only Uzbekistan, but all its neighboring countries are also landlocked. This truly is a closed land within the continent, creating a special connection among these nations. While the absence of the sea might impact some economic activities, especially maritime transport and beach tourism, Uzbekistan compensates for this with unparalleled cultural and historical values. Historic cities like Samarkand and Bukhara were once key centers on the legendary Silk Road. Their cultural heritage, stunning architecture, and rich history attract thousands of visitors every year. Not just historic cities, Uzbekistan also boasts magnificent natural landscapes with vast deserts and towering mountain ranges. Even without a blue sea, Uzbekistan offers travelers unique and captivating experiences, from deserted adventures in the Kaizulkum to exploring UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So we've explored 13 unique and fascinating facts about Uzbekistan. This country truly is a gem in the heart of Central Asia. I hope today's journey has given you a fresh and deep perspective on a land full of mystery yet also captivating. 
let Uzbekistan be the next destination on your exploration list. And remember, many more exciting things await you in future videos. Hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the adventures. Thank you for joining me and see you in the next exploration.